Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. crazy few weeks for me but let's talk about some good news now we got some pistons basketball preseason game numero uno coming out friday so make sure you guys stay tuned for all that i'm gonna try to go live during the game but with everything happening right now i don't know if i'm gonna be available but that is my goal and my attention uh but before we talk about blake griffin and Derek rose so you guys know now that the nba season is back we are going to do above the rim twice a week today is wednesday this is the new time for the show for the, I guess, I don't know if you wanna call it the first installment of the week, but we're gonna do two shows, one on Wednesday, and we're gonna still do the other one on Saturday. So just so you guys know, uh, I don't know who's gonna host it today. I don't know if it's gonna be me, JMO, Pistons Talk, uh, Easy Sports, I don't, I don't know yet. We gotta find that out. But today there will be another above the rim. So just so you guys know. Now, without delaying the video any longer, let's go ahead and talk about the fantastic news. I have loved everything I have seen from training camp from Derrick Rose to Killian working out to seeing Jeremy Grant working in the post to seeing Seku working and seeing Blake Griffin out there diving for loose balls but the most important thing is after I believe it was the first day of camps where they actually did drills and five on five and four on four and stuff that coach Casey said that both Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose have not taken a rep off so that means through all the drills all the five on fives they are out there they're not resting they are trying to get into shape which also means they are 100 percent healthy this is encouraging because you know about a month or two ago we heard blake griffin was healthy and then casey said yeah he's healthy but he's not there at 100 percent yet there's no leg sleeve on blake griffin derrick rose looks quick and finishing at the rim as good as ever blowing by people left and right playmaking blake out there looks strong uh, Casey said that a majority of what Blake Griffin was working on, uh, you know, in the weight room was strengthening his legs. So we all know that's where a majority of his problems have come from, rather if it's ACLs or um, uh, what was the, was it an MCL that he hurt uh, for us? So there's a lot of problems going on with those legs. So now that he's, you know, doing squats, bench presses uh, with the legs and all this other stuff that he's been working out to make those muscles stronger is really encouraging. He looks good. He's in tremendous shape. You know, a lot of times when players have a year off, they don't really work out all the time. You know, sometimes there's a downtime. Like, look at James Harden. What's he doing right now? Exactly. So I'm very, very happy that Blake Griffin, as the primary leader of this team, took this offseason very serious. He is hungry. He is hungry to make a comeback this year. He wants to get back to that all-NBA, all-star level he was here two years ago. He wants to get the Pistons in the playoffs. He wants to win. He's not here just to collect paychecks. Yes, it's nice, and he, I'm sure he enjoys that. But he is here to help motivate this team to win, to help the young guys in any way possible. Same thing goes with Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose had a little bit of a different offseason because you know he was more worried about his family and stuff, but... He still has his own gym at home, and he still worked out, and he's still in great shape. But you can't get mad at a player for not wanting to do that during a pandemic. He wanted to be with his family, and you have to respect that. And I certainly do, but there's no slowing down Derrick Rose. He looks just as good as he did last year. So what does this mean for the Pistons that, you know, our two veteran players, probably our two best players, uh, Blake and D. Rose, are healthy? Well, if we are going to make a playoff push, which... It's possible. All we have to do is get the 10 seed. You're going to need these two guys to produce. Blake Griffin, if he's healthy, he's going to be averaging around 25. Derrick Rose, if he's healthy, he's going to be averaging 18 to 22. That's a lot of power just for two guys right there. You know, Derrick Rose was a borderline all-star last year. He almost made it. So if he can play this a little bit better this year, he will be in. And the thing that I've been talking about is, you know, Casey said that they're probably going to start killing now, I know a lot of you D-Rose fans are mad about that. I understand. I get it. But Derrick Rose is probably going to be the guy to close out the game. Last second shot is going through him. 
him and Blake and run the pick and roll, take the best option, take the best shot available. It's really what it's going to boil down to. But I love seeing Derrick Rose taking Killian underneath his wings. They are having fun. Uh, Killian soaking it all up. And it's really nice to see a verbal Derrick Rose. You know, you know usually Derrick kind of led by example by his play. He's taking more of a speaking role, talking to players, you know, breaking down the game for them, not just going out there and showing them, but teaching them behind the scenes of what they need to do, what they need to look for. So our two best players, our two top guys, Blake and D. Rose, I am just through the roof happy with these guys, man. Uh, they took it so serious. Uh, they look good. So I can't wait to watch them Friday, see, see how good of a team we got. We got some dogs, so... Definitely looking forward to it. But let me know what you guys think about a healthy Blake and a healthy D-Rose down below in the comments. I'll be sure to read all of them. Instagram, Twitter, DSMRS, DSA channel, all the good stuff down in the description. Check it out. And I will see you guys tonight on Above the Rim. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace.